You explained this to me a little bit earlier this morning. Yeah, let me tell you, Tim Marshall is uh, one of the top scientists mm -hmm. in the field, in the entire world, right. when it comes to this. And yeah, I mean, the, the enhanced Fujita scale really takes into account damage to buildings, but in rural areas, even like ours, if a tornado occurs and it doesn't hit a building or a structure, it mm -hmm. can be more difficult. So uh, this is actually some welcome change and uh, some nice. change that will uh, bring better ratings. And That'll help with funding. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. Checking in outside this morning, though, we're not tracking any severe weather. Uh, in fact, just track, tracking some light rain, upper 40s, lower 50s right now outside. And we do have some wet roads as we continue to track some showers working their way out across uh, much of the region. And much like yesterday, uh, we do expect most of the rain to be falling during the morning. Morning hours, we'll see some pretty nice weather in store for us this afternoon. In fact, if you thought yesterday was a pretty nice afternoon, temperatures in the lower 60s. Today, we anticipate even warmer weather and probably a little sunshine as well through the afternoon hours. Wednesday brings another chance for some wet weather to start the day. Uh, really about three days in a row here where we've got morning rain, clearing skies in the afternoon. Now, Wednesday afternoon, winds start to pick up quite a bit and uh, some cooler air begins to really filter in, especially towards the end of the week. Thursday and Friday are uh, both days going to be pretty chilly for April and a chance we could even see a few snowflakes mixing in by Friday afternoon. But uh, much of our region right now at least covered up on some light rain. You can see the showers really developing almost right on top of us, anywhere from, say, Anna northward to Carbondale and Murfreesboro. Marion all seeing some light rain and there's a couple heavier pockets of rain can't entirely rule out a flash of lightning rumble of thunder but we're not anticipating much in the way of thunderstorms a lot of heavier rain has actually fallen in some of our northern counties anywhere from Tamaro to Nashville Illinois to Mount Vernon uh, have seen a bit more in the way of heavier rain overnight uh, tracking an area of low pressure to our south warm front really draped right over top of us right now big time thunderstorms moving through parts of Mississippi to start the day and all the way back into Louisiana now that's this morning's rain tied to this storm system. Tomorrow morning's rain is tied to this cold front dropping through the plains back into South Dakota, Nebraska and, and Colorado. That is the one that's going to bring us another round of some showers, maybe a few thunderstorms late tonight and into Wednesday morning. So much like yesterday by lunchtime, most of the rain starting to clear out of here, maybe still an isolated shower near the Wabash Valley, but uh, temperatures starting to warm this afternoon as well. Upper 60s for high temperatures across southern Illinois, some lower 70s into western Kentucky and southeast Missouri and we do expect the afternoon hours to be rain free uh, later on tonight though here's the next round of some showers midnight tracking a line of some showers and maybe a couple rumbles of thunder no severe weather with this but uh, it will bring some pockets of heavier rain through they'll stick around through Wednesday morning much like uh, yesterday or even today we do expect by lunchtime most of the rain to be clearing out and uh, likely going to see some sunshine by Wednesday afternoon now stronger winds behind this cold front Wednesday uh, will keep things a little cooler Wednesday afternoon highs only into the lower 60s will continue to fall through the overnight hours. So additional rainfall on top of what's already falling. Uh, fallen, we're thinking anywhere from about a quarter to a half an inch on average. So not a lot of heavy rain out there. Thursday, Friday, though, bring another chance for some isolated showers. We've got a big storm system. It's going to track into the Great Lakes. On the back side of this thing, we are going to see some much colder air work its way down into our region, and that likely is going to fuel some isolated showers Thursday and Friday afternoons, and it's also going to bring a lot of cold air with it as well. Morning low temperatures, 49 this morning, uh, 49 tomorrow morning, 40 on Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday mornings, all featuring lows back in the 30s. Saturday morning, there's a chance we could see a light freeze in a few spots and uh, maybe even some patchy frost into Sunday morning. So uh, some much colder weather on the way here as we uh, head into the uh, next weekend. 53 for a high on Saturday. Now we will see a big warm up towards the end of the weekend. By Sunday, we're back in the upper 60s. And there's our favorite temperatures coming back in next week. Uh, temperatures in the 70s. More chances for some scattered showers, maybe even some thunderstorms towards the middle of next week. That's the next big weather impact beyond Thursday and Friday. All right. Thank you.